Ready? Look, everything's gonna be fine. You're, you're okay, right? Wait, is that you? Twin sister, please? Okay, it's always I'm gonna have to smack some sense into you. Smack some sense into you. No, but I think this is a psychological thing that she's seen her dead body and this is her ghost. I, I would believe, maybe. Kind of sad, honestly, to re see your dead body and you just you're just hysterical about it and crying at the same time. So this mess has been made more of here. So now we have a antagonist other than the necromorphs. We will call him Bearded Guy. Or I would actually call him Steve because he reminds me of Steve from Married with Children. You know, when he gets the beard and everything. And he becomes more of a douchebag. Person Lock, Dr. Chalice Mercer. This specimen continues to respond well to my experiments. Its cellular fortitude, not to mention electricity, is remarkable. Dr. Kine, I'm sure, would disapprove. But I do not anticipate that issue as the good doctor is busying himself with the marker. As if that matters now. He has also succumbed to the same dementia that afflicted the colony. Only yesterday he told me he had spoken to his wife. But Amelia Kine has been dead for some years. <coughs> My subject grows restless. Patience. Your time is soon. Very soon. Gotta love the smart people who become crazy. This makes no sense at all. Before I grab that, I just want to make sure... Okay. Yep, shit's about to get real. Alright, I'm just going to make sure if I'm prepared real quick. Uh, I was checking and I ruined the subtitles, I'm sorry. And I apologize. So... I don't really have much with me. And I did not see a stasis recharge, so... I hope this will do. I really do. That's it, Isaac. Now you just need to... This has gone far enough. Accept your part in the God's plan. Embrace your own extinction. Warning. Life support system failure automatically. Isaac, he's decompressed the entire deck, and I'm being locked out of those systems. All the air has been vented into space. You should be able to bring it back online from the security station, but you don't have much time. Damn right I don't have much time. I don't have much breath either. Air. Breath. Okay. I'm gonna, there is an oxygen recharge there around there, and I think I have a can of air with me, so I can't take this a little slow. Wait, you're alive. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I was just about to run into that. Ah, grab! I'm totally Resident Evil, you guys. Oh, shit, him. Get away. Get away, get away, get away. Ah, fuck off, fuck off. How am I gonna get out of this one? Well, I'm actually gonna get re oxygen recharge. I have this shit open. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Okay. Please. Oh, there's a baby there. Okay. I'm just running. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. This is like a safe haven. This is the whole ship. So which way do I go? Over there. Okay, make the poison. Get the fuck out. Make the poison. Get the fuck out. Okay, I gotta go back. Not cool. I'm gonna get more health packs because I am <laughs> just getting bombarded with enemies. I am gonna sell these too. Yes, I am sure I don't want them. I will carry that. Look at this useless ammo that I'm not gonna be using. I will show you guys later in the end of the game, or towards the end of the game, with the, how the guns work and everything. No, grab a large. Actually, no, I should say that for final battle. Take one of you and one and two of you, actually. Well, I meant to take two smalls, but I'll grab a medium and all that stuff. Okay, good enough. So now we gotta move back, and the Ripper is proving to be useful, especially with those little. 
prickly things and um, big fat ones. So we totally evaded them, but I think they're gonna come back. Hope not. I honestly don't. I, I honestly do hope they don't not come back. Cause then I just missed quite a few. fuck. Not cool, bro. I've got more intel on the atmosphere. A survivor's report says a massive creature entered the hydroponic deck from outside the ship. That's when the air quality began degrading. The survivor called it the Leviathan. Ah, oh, yes, the Le oh, man, the Leviathan. By the way, speaking of Leviathan, are they making noises? I really don't want to waste an ammo for this, but... Oh, whatever. Close enough. I don't mind getting hurt, just... Which isn't much. Uh, should I upgrade a weapon right now? Should I upgrade my rig? I think that's a uh, should, should be could. Let's upgrade my rig with more health, because I'm actually getting a little bit more... Pussy-like. I do need more... I should figure out what to do before I go in here. For example, these two weapons, I need to pick one and stick with it. I think I might stick with the plasma cutter in the end. For now, I think it's safe to say I can go rig. And I will be using a power node. I will be buying another one actually. Uh, next chapter. With the money I've been making. I think those little thingies uh, make human screaming noises. I wasn't sure, that's what I was asking. Until I lost my train of thought prior to what I was saying. Oh, yeah, it's the white then. Ah, just came to me. It's like fantastic how the brain works sometimes. Ah, uh, I'm sound, sound like one of those scientists that you know pretty much kill everyone in the end. If I become one of those people who are, uh, they see something over there. There's boxes. Anyhow, the light. There's a pretty cool song from a pirate metal band called uh, Ale Storm. So you may want to check that out on YouTube. I'll probably leave that in the description below. If I remember. Please stand by. Oh, fast. Please remove the capsule. Can I go over there? Let's hope that poison works. Head back to the tram station and get up to hydroponics as fast as you can. Still no response from Hammond, so be careful. There's no telling how contaminated that deck is. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit, misplaced as it may be. I think, I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spawn the hive mind's offerings. You deserve to witness that at least. Yeah, this guy's uh that shit crazy. Look at her spine! More health. So you can see this chapter has influence. I for a second I thought I was gonna get those head uh those half-life things that pretty much dangle and kill you as you walk into them and they just pull you up there. For a second there. They saw spewing guts. So Steve, I'm gonna call him Steve. I think he's uh, that one doctor that's been on the audio records. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, someone in the comments section can clarify this. I, uh, I'm, I'm bad with voices sometimes. So I think I should save. All right, so um, I thought my audio recording just stopped freezing. So this is not a new part. It's kind of weird how I ended the other part in a weird note, but it just, I thought the audio recording uh, for the session was just like stopped halfway and my audio started recording while I was recording the video. That would have sucked, you know? But even though it was an awkward end, it did kind of uh, cut us off at a good point, I think. Whoop, there he is. Oh crap, I remember this part. This kind of reminds me of Arkham Asylum or City. Asylum. Perhaps now you would understand. The work I have done must continue. Will continue. I, Dr. Charles Mercer, shall serve as the catalyst to the salvation of our species. These specimens will return to Earth with me. I will spread their divine glory across the entire planet. I will leave you with my creation. Embrace the laptop. Alright, so, let's become another survival mode. Do this shit. Whoa, at least I froze him in time. Alright, let's kill the baby first, because we cannot kill him. And I got a lot of uh, power stuff, so I am not 
worry about wasting ammo. Ow, and I missed. Ow, what else is hitting me? Bad. Stop it with the hitting. It hurts, you know. Ow. Man, that little guy's got some good aim. He'll grab some more stasis. Where are you, little boy? All right. Got some ammo out of that, too. All right, big guy. So, here's a trick. Lure him in there. Cut this guy up, and he will have a hard time regenerating in there. That's pretty much the deal. I think Kendra tells you. That was weird. The game just minimized randomly. A bad moment, too. All right, so. Let's restasis him. So I can figure out what the hell um, exactly just happened in the game. Why it minimized. Anyways, you gotta keep him in stasis. Before he regenerates, get in here. Fuck this fool up. Power node. Power node. Power node. All this stuff. It hasn't given me the option to like destroy him yet. Which is weird. Get back here later. No. Stay down. Stay down. Actually, that's a little bit too much. I might be wasting ammo. I know you're supposed to keep him in here and keep him frozen so he doesn't generate as fast or at all. And then you gotta do something. You gotta press it in here? I don't recall. Does it hit something in there? All I know is this is a huge ammo burn. If you don't figure it out soon. And I just missed the button, that's what I did. Okay. Alright, okay. There we go. That's how it's done. She's now joined them. I just hope that's the last we see of that thing. I've managed to override Mercer's lockdown. There's a secondary tram station nearby, and you can take it to hydroponics. Let's just hope there's enough time. So, for uh, my science savvy people out there, um, I'm not one of them, so don't uh, think I'm one of those. And for those who aren't savvy, uh, if you are not aware, when you freeze a cell, that shit stays frozen. That's one of the only ways to stop molecules and everything from actually moving around and pretty much come to a halt. Which is how we destroyed and stopped our menace here. And that's pretty much why we had to do it. So it's lucky for us that Mercer was stupid and left us in a freezing chamber. Or to fight in a freezing chamber. So yeah, it turns out that was Mercer in the previous part. I did not have to talk about it. And that's pretty much the end of this chapter, which is weird. It's pretty damn short. Really short, actually. So I cut it off at a weird part. Hmm. Well, it's, I can apologize now, but you kind of redundant. What was that noise? Did they step on something? Okay. So I guess that's it for this part. This chapter, chapter five. I already did. Uh, we probably doing chapter six since it was so short. Yeah, so I guess I'll do chapter 6. So, this is a quick flick. Thank you for watching. I uh, excuse the uh, editing and the interruptions if I can't make them to your favor. But if you like this part, please check out the rest of the previous parts if you have not seen them. You might like them except probably the first chapter, which is our first three parts. I don't think they were my best, but it's there. As, as a long outro, because of the time I've had, I've taken my time, sweet time, saying this outro. So, thanks for watching. Take care. I hope you enjoy the uh, in a nutshell. Areas, chapters I've done, and keep gaming.